A warm welcome back. Thank you for staying with us here on today on ENCA Channel 4, 3 on DSTV. The Senzo Meiwa murder trial has been postponed to tomorrow. Now, Judge Chifiwa Maumela is expected to rule if the next witness can testify without cameras inside the courtroom. She claims broadcasting her testimony will prejudice her career and lifestyle. But lawyers argue she's been tweeting about what happened and even had a sit-down interview with ENCA. ENCA's Moloko Moloto is following this story and joins us live right now. Proceedings started with a heated debate between Desbard Malisela Defo and Judge Maomela. What exactly transpired? Well, Advocate Malisela Defo showed up in court and uh, he was introduced by Advocate Mshololo, who said that he was there uh, on a watching brief. And he then stood up, Malesa Latefu, to say he wanted to address the court because he claimed that he was uh, there on behalf of uh, Sfiso Meiwa, the brother of Senzo Meiwa, as well as the Orlando Pirates Football Club, the team that Senzo Meiwa was playing for. But the judge did not want to really listen to him or give him an opportunity to address him. And the exchange went on for a couple of minutes. Sure. Maybe let's listen to them. I've been told by Advocate, uh, by Advocate Mshololo that yes. you said I should know that you are here as a watching brief. Yes. And I think that does it. She didn't put it uh, in the correct way, in the, in the right context. Uh, no. no, please. Um, <coughs> I will uh, put it in the correct context. Mr. Tefo, the, 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 other day, the other day outside here, we started late because I was explaining to you that <clears throat> these accused persons have paid these representatives who are here to represent them in this case. And <clears throat> whatever time we spend here, it is at their <coughs> expense. <coughs> now, you are watching. That's what you are telling me. I'm, I'm asking you to stay put and watch that brief and allow the representatives of the accused to play their roles. Now it is the opportunity for Advocate Bal Bal um, uh, Baloy to address me. Now what we are, we are, we want to do now is coming in between and it is disturbing these proceedings. Sit down and watch. Um, I, I am not saying I'm allowing you to sit down and watch the brief or I'm disallowing you, but I have been told and I have noted it. You know, sir, uh, like I said, let me put it in the right context. No. I'm not here to, you, watch, to sit and watch. You are, you, are here, not, you are not going to address me. I've been given instructions, several <coughs> instructions by Sifiso Maewa, the brother of the deceased. I've been given you, you are disturbing. You are minutes. disturbing court. Please sit down, or I will order that you be taken out. You are disturbing us. If you feel like that, you can do that. But you must know that you are depriving the right people who are affected by this. Yeah, yes. This is a witness of the great interest to Sifiso Mr. Mr. Tefo, Mr. Tefo, sit down and allow Advocate Baloy to continue with what is of interest in this case, which is what I want to hear. There's a ruling for me to make, and time is of essence. I'm saying sit down and allow Advocate Baloy. This is an interruption, and it is rude, if you ask me. It is a rude interruption, which is unnecessary for our purposes. Every, the, you are not the only watching brief that was spoken about in this case. There's never been a watching brief here who has interrupted proceedings. Look, the judge visibly infuriated, and it's not an unreasonable request to ask Defo to say, listen, let us finish with what we are doing at the moment, and then I will allow you to be present, and, and you can say whatever it is you need to say. Have we heard from the heads, um, you know, just heads of arguments with what needs to happen next? Yeah, of course, all the defense lawyers in that courtroom are opposing this application by this particular witness who doesn't want to have her testimony televised live. But also the lawyer who is there 
for the both radio and television media outlets is also opposing that. They actually are saying that it, that would deny the people who ordinarily would not have an opportunity to come to court the opportunity, particularly the families of both the accused and the Mayua family, right. uh, would not be able to follow this because they are not even in Gauteng. And Mshololo even went on to say that this might perpetuate the perception that the rich and the famous are treated with kids' love by the criminal justice system, whereas the poor are being treated harshly. But obviously, advocate George Baloi, who is uh, an advocate for the state, speaking on behalf of the witness, is arguing that the fact that uh, this witness is a performing artist doesn't mean that she doesn't have vulnerabilities. And he is arguing that the rights of the public to have access to this particular trial should not trump on her rights as a witness. Yes. Maybe let's listen to him. There are a lot of cases that take place on daily basis in the lower courts, in the high court, that are not being televised. Manot, cases involving <coughs> Joe and Soap in far-flung areas, why is there only a focus on cases that are of a high-profile nature? Is it not because then there is a greater <laughs> sense of public interest around yes. the case, that there, is yes. more, there are more people interested. And I think the case in point uh, is a perfect example, yes. uh, that it doesn't reside within the periphery of the family interest uh, or even the interest of those who were around when the offense was committed. Um, we are talking about here yeah, about about a, a superstar yes. who uh, has followers um, both nationally and internationally across the board. Um, and to to compare those two uh, scenarios, I, I I I doubt whether it will be um, the the best approach. Indeed, my lord, there is a point that you want to make. Um, in, 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 in the following uh, two instances. Firstly, um, are there other interests that are being pursued except for the edu educational value of uh, such proceedings? And secondly, my Lord, um, are they the only cases that have got educational value? What about a case of a poor person in a far-flung area uh, isn't there educational value in, in, in such cases?